I'm trying to get this bow moose monkey off my back. I've been at it for about five years. And I've come close on lots of occasions. But I've got two weeks to get it done here in Ontario. And I gotta do my best. This is a bucket list item for me. And this spot is a great spot and has all kinds of possibilities and potential. Stay tuned folks, you're watching Fuel the Fire TV. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, friends, and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures, as we spend all of the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion, and fueling the fire in the great outdoors. Hey folks, welcome to season five of Fuel of Fire TV. Jess and I are just packing up. We're heading up north to do a pre-season moose scout trip. We're gonna put out some Antler Obsession Trophy Mineral Mix. It's a big game attractant that we're gonna put down in front of our trail cameras and see if we can't get ourselves a picture or two of some target moose. We're gonna load up and hit the road. All right, Jess and I are up in moose country. We're setting bear baits and uh, looking for moose sign. This is a real good sign here. He's trashed that all up and we know there's good bulls in here. Hopefully we can get on them with the bow in a couple weeks. Awesome sign, I'm excited. Good there, awesome. We actually see some real good sign here. We're gonna get a setup together to try and get this bull on camera. Now we're gonna use um, Antler Obsession Trophy Mineral Mix. It's a big game supplement. We know it works on deer. We're gonna try it out on, on moose. This is a fantastic spot. We're super excited to bow hunt this area. We got our camera set up. We're gonna dump this stuff and get out of here. We've broken up the ground here a little bit. We're just gonna spread this all in here. We've got not only the attractant, but we've got the mineral supplement as well. Again, really good sign in here. We're gonna try and get these we know there's a big bull in here and last year uh, Jesse got lucky in here he harvested a nice bull and Scott missed one so we're hoping that that guy is, is put on some mass this year and we're gonna get him on camera hopefully with this antler obsession ultimate big game supplement this stuff works all right we're back up in moose country we're just checking the cameras here our other camera had nothing on it, even though there was a good bull in the area. I put some antler obsession down here, and it looks like there's some tracks in it, so we're going to check that out. I'm pretty excited to see what's on this camera. And then sometimes I get let down. <gasps> Import all ends. Yes, there's a bull on here. Import all. Looks like there's he's just a forker, but... 36 items successfully imported. Thank you. 
So Jesse and I came up to Moose Country. We're setting up a bear bait because the last few falls have been incredibly warm, almost too warm to bow hunt for moose. But if that's the case, then our backup plan is to hunt some of these big black bears that roam all of these hills. We've got a great little swamp in behind us. So if we can't get those bulls lit up, we're gonna chase those great big black bears of Ontario. Stay tuned, you're watching Fuel the Fire TV. they were going to get a shot and just as it cut their scent line they knew where that scent line was going to be and as soon as it cut its scent line or the guy's scent line that bull turned and hightailed it out of there and didn't get didn't get a shot so scent is everything wind is everything when it comes to big game hunting as you just saw in that video with justice and a, and a decent probably a 30 inch bull last year Sometimes those are the breaks. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. We're still at it for Bo. This is a, this spot has crazy sign. Just came in early this morning and we're, we're all set up. We've got our decoy out. 
and hopefully we can make something happen. I love this spot. There's a huge vantage point up top, but we've seen good moose here in the past, Jess and I. Hopefully it works out. see what, what Jess could see. At one point you were 30 yards away. 30 yards away. And I couldn't see him. But was, what was cool about that last moose is that I I didn't even, I only heard him. And then I saw his rack go by and I'm like, he's right there, right? I looked back and you kept giving me direction and then we had him pinned against the wall here. I had him at maybe 59 yards when I could see him. And then he started to just walk that way. You know, it could be that there's a bigger bull in here. I can't, uh, I'm looking forward to rifle hunting this spot. We're almost out of time for bow season, so I'm hoping we can get it done for a rifle. But man, that was so much fun. So close, yet so far. Stay tuned folks, we'll be right back. <laughs> And this 
this episode we've talked about wind direction and it's of paramount importance those moose because they can smell so well they'll try and get downwind of you just like that bigger bull did on Jess and I he circled us and then he busted us by getting downwind same thing with Warren and Justice bull got downwind and he busted us the other part though for this week's learning curve tip is your calling location. I'm going down to call. I'm actually going down where I want that bull to come in. If I call to here, lots of times those bulls will try and sneak up here and, cu and cut us off. So getting down here, they can pinpoint exactly where that call is coming from. We'll see what happens today, but I like to call away from where we're shooting. When it's archery, I like calling them directly right here. Let's see what happens. He's gonna go down. Yes! Hey. That was a great shot. You came out perfect. <gasps> he was like, he was perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Good for you. Oh man. That happened really, really quickly. Like, I heard one little snap. This guy came in, uh, came in quiet. And this is, this is one of the bulls that we had in archery. He was on me um, a couple weeks ago, right over top when Jess and I were in here. And last night we came in uh, with the girls. They came up for the weekend. And, uh, and we saw that second bull, the bigger bull, he crept in on us at a hundred yards, right? And pinned us down. And then we came in this morning and uh, early we're both, <laughs> both exhausted. And you hammered that, what a great shot. And you know what? She's using a new rifle from Benelli. It's a Benelli Lupo topped with a Burris scope and you smoked him. Yeah, it was nice. It was super nice. <laughs> oh, it's just a pleasure to shoot. I want to go see this bull. Let's go check him out. He's a good eating bull. That's awesome. Well, there you go. Diane gets her second bull uh, in her lifetime, right? Just a fantastic shot. Man, it came together so fast. And so perfectly. It came out right where we expected it to come out. Right where we wanted it to come out. And it's actually not one of the bulls that we saw here in archery. It's a younger bull. 
Uh, it's got a, a, a damaged paddle on the other side. It's got a nice little basket on, on the right side but just a fantastic bull nonetheless. It's gonna be a great eater, and that's what we're after. You know, we're pursuing so hard most of the time, and uh, it's just a privilege, right? Absolutely. It's a privilege to come out here and be a part of what nature has to offer. I was just gonna say, there's so many people involved that aren't here right now, but to... Yeah, you know, everybody, my brother and his kids were out this year, and... Um, my mom. Your mom kicking all the food and uh, Darcy and Aspen and Jess and Warren. John and Albert shot a real nice bull. A um, couple of new hunters with the girls' friends. Naomi yeah, and Naomi and, and Marin. So just a fantastic season all around. The Benelli Lupo worked perfect. And thanks to Brian at Ramacos for, for setting that up with, you know, Benelli's newest and baddest weapon. Um, it's just a fantastic shooting gun. I think Diane's already in love with it. Just a great, a great all around rifle, a 30 odd six. Uh, so thanks for that. Tune into our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, on our Instagram, on our Twitter. And uh, we hope you like watching the show because we love producing it for you. We're out here fueling our passion, fueling the fire and getting outdoors. We'll see you again next week.